Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another Monday video with me and Lavinia Stamps. I do hope you've enjoyed your Christmas celebrations with those that you loved, whether you got to see them in person or virtually. I hope there was love and laughter shared. So now we have a card with friends in the forest sharing the experience of the fireworks of New Year's Eve. So they are all together, foxes and hares, with a little hedgehog and the stag. So I'm using Fairy Fir Tree 2. You can use any collection of animals that you've got. And here I've created some little flowers with the fireworks in the sky, all coming to you with lots of love. To create the background, I've used brushos, lemon, cobalt blue, and purple. I'm using watercolour card. For the edge, the frame, I've used blueprint sketch. And then for my stamping, my fireworks, I've got an assortment of Versafine Claire's. Charming pink, warm breeze, glamorous. For the main silhouette stamping, I'm using Twilight. I'm using a fan brush and a wash brush to create the background, my smoothie, an assortment of Posca pens, but I'll talk about what you can use if you don't have those, my spritzy bottle, and then a fine liner. So that is my card for you. We will get started. So I'm going to take my watercolor card, which is half of an A4 sheet, the watercolour card that I'm going to be using today is from Lavinia Stamps. It's 300 GSM. It's the hot pressed watercolour card, which means that you've got a smooth surface. Often when you've got watercolour card, it's rough and that's part of the fun of it. But when you're trying to stamp on it, having a smoother surface is much better. I'm going to take my brush and I've got three colours in brushos. I've got lemon, cobalt blue and purple. I'm going to start with lemon to create this band of bright colour through the middle. I'm going to take my spritz bottle first and I'm going to wet the entire surface of the card. Just give me a bit of water there. So that my brushes are going to run nice and smoothly. And then I'm going to take my lemon, tap a tiny bit onto my mat because in my brushes I've just poked a tiny hole in the top and I use one of these push pins so that it doesn't pour out if it gets tipped over. That way, because these brushes are such highly pigmented powder, we don't get a massive rush. And I'm just going to give that a bit of water. And then onto my card, I'm just going to paint a band of yellow across the middle. You can go across it if you like. Actually, I want that a bit brighter. So I'm going to pop a tiny bit more onto my mat. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to have the night sky with purples and blues coming down from the top and a bit of the darkness at the bottom. So I want just this yellow band across the centre. I'm just going to clean off my brush. Often when I'm working, I'll have two paint pots, one for the lighter colour and one for the darker colour. And then I'm going to bring back in my blue. This is cobalt blue. It's a lovely, lovely blue. Again, just put a bit of water on that. Very bright blue, that one. Thank you. 
And then I'm going to take my spritzer bottle and just let the water run down a bit. Dilute it a little. And you're just going to play with it. You can't get this bit wrong. You really can't. And I'm going to do the same along the bottom. This is absolutely so much fun. Look, because you can't get it wrong. If you want to make it darker, you just put another layer on. The only thing you want to remember is that you want this yellow band through the middle. That's what's going to give you the brightness that we want in this card. So I'm going to clean off this mess. So I just use an old tea towel. As you can see, it's well used. And because it's brush hose, it just washes off really easily in the washing machine. And then whilst that's still all wet, I'm gonna come in with my purple. You only need a tiny bit of the purple. And you can see each time I just pick off my card because as you're spritzing it, some of the spray will land up on your card. Well, as it has already. And I know that because I've already done it a couple of times since making this card for you. <laughs> And then I'm going to turn it round and do the same at the bottom. That just is going to give us just a, a bit of extra interest in our sky. So by using the water here, it just makes the whole thing run. And doesn't give you definite lines. Now, if you didn't like any part of it, you can just dab it off. So, yes, it is a bit messy, this one. But hey, I've got my gorgeous mat underneath me. So, we're sorted. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry that with a heat gun and I'll come back to you. So here we have it, lovely and dry, and you can see I've got a couple of extra splatters of brush -o, but don't worry because we're going to put our fireworks in the sky and it will all become part of that lovely mixture. The first thing that I'm going to do is stamp up my stag. Now, if you don't have the exact same animals as I have, this will work with any collection of animals. The only thing I'd say is start with your largest animal first. That way you begin to build up the proportion. So I'm inking this up with Twilight and he is my stag. And I'm going to pop him over here because all the animals are watching the fireworks in the sky. So there we have stag first. I'm going to take one of the foxes from fox set one. Again, I'm using twilight for all these animals. And I've got a bit of extra ink on the side here. I don't want that to transfer onto my card. And I'm going to pop him just in front of my stag. And then I'm going to take one of my hairs from the wild hair set. 
and my little Pippin and I'm going to place them behind the fox so that they're carefully and cautiously watching this fox. <laughs> However, these are friends together, watching this fireworks, celebrating together, so. Oops. Oh, we got away with that one. And then little Pippin. And I'm gonna pop him just sitting again behind the fox and then we've got the tiny little hedgehog from the Wallace family set but again any nature collection of animals will work for you here so there's my collection of friends and then I'm going to take my trees I'm using Fair Fairy Fir Tree 2. I love this one. It's bold. You can use it without the trunk or with the trunk. Still using Twilight here. And I'm going to place my first one about here. And then I'm just going to place a few of these in and around my scene. I will mask off the bottom if I don't want the trunks as well. So you can see I just used a piece of copy paper there. And you can see I've put them at different heights here. And I just wanted a tiny bit of that poking through. So now we're going to ground our animals. Got a piece of copy paper. I'm using the same sheet as I just tore to do my masks. And we're just going to ground these animals using my smoothie and a bit of blueprint sketch. So we're just going to hold this paper, flick it, flick it down. There's a bit too much ink on here. And just like hills, they would go at different places. The only thing you'd want to make sure is at the base of the trees or the base of some of the animals. You've got something for it to ground into. And you make your paper go across the whole place of the card, the width of the card, I mean. And you can see I'm flicking from the card onto, from the paper onto the card. And you start to build up your scene like that. Moving the paper. orienting it in different angles. So you start to build up this undulating hillside that our little friends are sitting watching on. So 
So there you have it. And you can go on infinitum. If you wanted to make it a bit darker, you could use a bit of black soot. But I'm happy with that. And now for our fireworks. Oh my goodness, we're going to have fun with this one. So we're going to bring in all the different colours of Versafine Claire. I've got Glamorous, Charming Pink, Monarch and Warm Breeze. And I'm using one of my favourite, favourite stamps, which is just from the Pound range. It's the Mini One stamp, I think it is. The Miniature Star. Look, let me show you how it stamps. It's absolutely fabulous. So you get these fabulous little dots and stars in between. So I'm just going to create fireworks in the night sky. So that was twilight. I'm just going to wipe my stamp off onto my cloth. And now I'm using Charming Pink, and I'm going to do a couple of those. A couple in Glamorous. This is Warm Breeze. There we have it. I decided not to use Monarch. So that looks like quite a full fireworky sky but then to finish it off we're going to come in with our Posca pens. I just picked an assortment of lovely bright colours and I'm just going to pick and dot the rest of my sky. So I'm not overthinking this, I'm just dotting and having fun different colours. Oh, I smudged that one. So you can see where we had that extra pigment of the brushos, it's just blended into our gorgeous firework sky. And now we're going to create some flowers at the bottom. For this, I'm going to be using my fine liners. I've got the finest one. And to create my flowers, I'm just going to create a little tick with a thing in the middle. Now I'm going to put a collection of these around the base of trees and a collection of these around where the animals are sitting. So 
So you can see I wasn't being too careful, but I've created groups of them. And then I'm just going to pick up my Poscas. Whatever colours you like. And I'm just going to dot. So this makes them the little flower heads on the top of our flowers. Just randomly, really, this is not planned. Just randomly here and there with the different colours. So there we have our little base where our friends, our together friends, are watching the fireworks. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put some white splatters in and around the sky. For that, I am going to use white paint. You could use a Posca pen, but I'm going to use my white paint here. which I'm going to water down because that enables the paint to run. Probably too much water there. If you put too much water in, your paint is too thin and then your splatters don't really show up. There you go. So you want it runny enough to run, but not see-through. And then I'm just going to splat this Oops, and the splatters are going to go everywhere on my worktop. I'm just going to bring it down over the trees a little so that the fireworks is falling down. Voila. So I just gave that a blast with a heat gun to make sure my paint was dry, my flowers were dry, before blending around the edge. I'm going to use Blueprint Sketch. And there we have it, our gorgeous little friends sharing the excitement of the fireworks together. I do hope you've enjoyed that. I'd love to see what you make and may you have a very happy new year. Oh, do you know what? I've forgotten one thing. Oh my goodness. At the bottom of my card, 
we are going to stamp it with love because my wish for you in 2022 is a year filled with love. With love to you and yours. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.